Saving data. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah, go on. I'll catch up to you. I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to bait it. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. I want respect, damn it! I'll be running laps around you yet. Mark my words. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. I mean, it's high. You're hot, huh? <laughs> you ought to... What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kinda cute. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. Go to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat, attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck, and snapped it, right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, 
and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I mean, why I'm talking? I have no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. This has got to be some kind of mistake. Sechinov should have foreseen this. He must have. I'm sure. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. For oh, the rescue team, finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No. I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to. But I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at the workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly, the robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. 
before getting your annual physical from facility 3826. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Yeah, the handle's attached. Can it? Ah, to help me. 
I should ask to be transferred to another department. Only temporarily. No. Keep your cores off that. Not this recording. Oh, okay. I'll switch it off. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Did you even come from?
Andre Barbilov. The graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn, and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a nice little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? Say. Finally. Data saved. Attention employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Let's get the hell out. 
out of here. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Fading data. Do you like it here, sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So, you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me, hard and often. Oh, fuck.
transmitting waves over a specific distance. I remember the thrill of our first experiment. Everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. find that yellow cylinder it's a polymer container major they're always yellow it shouldn't be hard to find and impenetrable armor, 
Powerful rocket-propelled airplanes carrying devastating new weapons. Combat robots marching across battlefields instead of human conscripts. I have no qualms creating it. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck. Of everything here, including us. Hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying.
increase. Now at four percent. Our situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Okay with me. You first. I'm out of PA-400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it. Hang on! God damn it! The oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to Have us, you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! No! no. Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Yeah. I'm coming. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these so, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Authorization, Major Nichaya.
to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? What a pain in the ass. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopod canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. The PEG-4 birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like... A dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station. 
and take the train to Solich Nile. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Please select the desired procedure. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3. 